Hey there everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, resuming my post-game side quest uh, video series here for uh, Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. And I'm about halfway through the Koopa Koop missions here. And let's see what this one is. In my salad days? Okay. Uh, oh, newspaper. Alright, this one's easy enough too. This requires a little bit of uh, going outside the sewer area again. But once again, this is just in tow towns. So it's really not that far at all from uh, from where we currently are, which again is nice. Definitely unlike the uh, the mission I ended with uh, last video, the uh, last autograph mission. That took a little bit more time than uh, like I said, most of the others will really. I can't think of any that wouldn't be nearly as much off the top of my head. Then again, though, I don't exactly remember that many, <laughs> so I don't know. But in the meantime going to read the newspaper and that is all you actually have to do I don't know if you uh, uh, I'll just read the back just in case usually that says something interesting Bowser's underly okay uh, I, guess I don't think that's actually necessary but I might as well just read just in case but that's all you have to do like I said it's kind of different because there's no like items or anything to get in this particular one but all I have to do is just read that uh, that sign out there in front of uh, Merlin's house and head back to uh, Koopa Koop and just tell him what's up I guess I'm having difficulty jumping onto these pipes for some reason or another I guess I'm just not jumping high enough uh, right. now I'm hip okay I mean, if you were hip, you'd potentially give me more than one coin every time, but whatever. Uh, oh, a life sh Oh, pff, I have like 50 with me right now. That's extremely convenient. I forgot about that one. Otherwise, um, I would recommend, if you do not have a live stream at the moment, I would recommend uh, grabbing one from... Well, if you don't want to go all the way to uh, um, Star Haven, that's like the cheapest, I think. But uh, I think the place that I usually go to if I don't happen to have one... Um, I usually go to the Booze Mansion. There's some for sale there. That's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. Um, I don't know, maybe uh, Shiver City sells them or something. I don't really know. But as you can see, though, we got the gold credit. That's kind of nice. Like I said, I mentioned uh, about the little uh, arcade area, whatever it's called. Um, and, ooh, a nutty cake. I actually forgot how to make this. Goom Nut. Um. Is that the only thing it takes? I guess so. Uh, that's not too bad. Um, anyways, though. <laughs> uh, oh, shoot. What was I saying? Uh, something about... Live streams, maybe? I don't know. I usually go to Boo's Mansion. And... Oh, the gold credit. That's what I was talking about. I was like, I thought I was finished uh, saying whatever I was going to say about the live streams. The gold credit is... Uh, it... I don't remember what game it lets you play either. But it lets you play a second game, I think. I think there's only two. Um, in that little playground arcade area, and like I said, I'll probably like show those off like maybe after I'm done with all these, uh, um, whatever they are, little side quest things for Koopa Koot. But uh, I don't know. Like I said, I don't play them a whole lot. Oh, I don't want to buy Thunder Rage. I just happened to mistakenly drop by that, I guess. Anyways, though, now to go back to. I'm pretty sure this is her name is T Tasty. I think in the last video, I couldn't remember if it was Tasty or Zesty. But one of them is in Thousand Year Door, and one of them is in this game. And I don't know. just like just like all the the wizard people in this. Oh no, I didn't want to. No, I didn't want to do that. Um, make with one. There we go. Names just get uh, kind of confusing sometimes, I guess. Yep, Nutty Cake. That's nice. 10 FP. So that's, that's pretty good for a free item that you can find. Uh, oh, shoot. Here, I didn't even mention where to get it. I just assumed that people already had one. Um, if I do that, feel free to let me know that I slipped up somewhere or another. Um, that is actually... I'm going to go ahead and... Now I feel bad. I almost forgot about the Koopa leaves in the last video in here. I forgot about the Goom Nut, basically. You just go over to this tree here in Goomba Village and hit it, and the Goom Nut should pop out. 
Uh, I'm not really going to bother picking it up, like I said, because obviously I don't need it anymore. But um, And it respawns every time you do it, too. It's just, it's, I mean, you never really run out of goom nuts. You can always just pop back in that pipe and then go like go back and forth for it to uh, respawn. Bouncing bob bombs. Who always says the most bizarre things, but whatever. Not sure where he comes up with these phrases, but I'm sure the uh, uh, the localization team for <laughs> had fun translating all those phrases into English. Be interesting nonetheless. Quite a racket. Oh, okay, yeah. So actually, he mentioned something about Cooper's house. However, for whatever reason, I don't think Cooper actually does anything. I don't know if he just doesn't care or what, but. Um, what we're gonna want to switch to here is Bombad, and she'll kind of tell them off, because they're basically arguing over Bombad, and wait, don't I? Yeah, yeah, there we go. So yeah, she'll tell them off basically, and then they'll stop. Yeah, so we're good to go. I said, I don't know. I don't think Cooper does anything. He just, I don't even know if he says anything at all, or if he just doesn't do anything, or whatever. Um. Oh, a special gift. Three star pieces, okay. That's really nice. I love the when it gives me three star pieces. Oh, <laughs> really random long story that's making my screen spaz out. Okay. Uh, the upshot. Wait. Oh, okay. This is the one that you have to go to Boo's Mansion for. Okay. I knew there was at least one. Like I said, I know you can get the life shroom from, uh, from there, but... Uh, that's obviously not necessary. There's other places to get that, but this one obviously uh, you do have to go to Boo's Mansion for. And hopefully you have the fortune of having the uh, the shortcut here available to you. I think. Wait, I don't know what you have to fight to open. The, wait, the, that's where the dark. Oh man, I, I guess I screwed that up in the last video. Uh, I said that you had to fight the dark cubus to get those three uh, warp pipes there, but that's just a regular blooper, I think. No. No, that is the Dark Cooper. Ah, ah, I have no idea. I'm confusing myself so much. I think that one does require fighting some kind of booper. Bloop, booper. <laughs> blooper. Uh, in order to um, get to Boo's Mansion. I, I don't know. I don't remember which one's which, but whatever. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've done those videos. Um, anyways, though, you just talk to this guy right here in the front of the mansion. He's the one that uh, you need to give you the photo. Anyways, though, like I said, if you don't have access to this warp pipe, however it is that you get access to it, like I said, I don't remember, but um, you can go the long way through Forever Forest, but it, these side quests are so much faster if you uh, have access to all the, the, um, the shortcut pipes here in the sewers, which is basically kind of why I wait more towards the, uh, the end of the game to do this, really. Made sure I had all the paths open up. And now I give him the old photo. Great clumping clubbers. And another long story, okay. At least my screen didn't spaz out that time. Well, let's see what it is this time. Uh, tasty meal and a good... Well, I just gave him a nutty cake. Uh, coup pasta. Alright, so I... Oh, I should've, should've gotten that Koopa leaf that I just ignored in that last video. Um... I think I need dried pasta too. I, I, oh, I didn't even tell you the uh, ingredients, I guess. It, I feel like it's somewhat obvious. Like It's kind of common sense, I guess. Um, obviously, the Koopa part is the Koopa leaf, wherever that happens to Actually, I think there's... I passed it up. It's this one. Or this one. There it is. <laughs> I had to think about it. I was like, wait. Okay. And the other one, the pasta part, is obviously pasta. <laughs> and that happens to be in... Dry, dry outpost at the uh, the shop here, which is pretty nice. Even though I don't remember which there, there it is, right there. I couldn't remember if it was in this part or the next part over. Dried pasta, that's what it's called. All right. So now I just take those two items to taste tea. Oh, you you will need the uh, the cookbook for this, which um, you get by oh just by giving a. Uh, What's his name? Gourmet. I mean, you basically... I don't know if you exactly have to collect it necessarily to progress in the game. But you have to... Yeah, it's right in front of you, basically. It's, um... After you give Gourmet Guy the cake uh, from Taste Tea, he'll, like, leave it behind. So, if you haven't given it to Taste Tea yet, then, um... 
you can do it now, I guess, before uh, before cooking these uh, these ingredients. I don't think it order matters what order you uh, give it to her in, actually, either. Hopefully not, at least. <laughs> um, so, like I said, dried pasta and uh, Koopa Leaf. I don't think the, dr the dried pasta is too much, either. Nothing that you can't afford with the coins that he's uh, given you, at least. Um, another interesting item, like I said, I rarely ever use... Uh, these cooked items for whatever reason during the main quest, but um, 7 HP and 7 FP I think it said to restore, so that's not too bad. Like I said, again, better than the Koopa Leaf and the dried pasta by themselves, I guess. Um, I'm not entirely certain if I want to do the, the cooking side quest or not, because, I don't know. I'll see how it goes. I'll think about it. Um, obviously, I've already done quite a few of them just just by doing these uh, Koopa Koo side quests. Uh, let's see here. What's the next one? Uh, oh, this time he uh, lost his glasses. Um, for a second I thought he was actually wearing glasses still, but I guess not. It might just... I guess it didn't really look at it as much as I thought it did, but whatever. Um, hmm. Unlike the wall, he doesn't seem to really tell you where it is. I guess he just expects you to find them somewhere. I believe they're in one of these bushes here. I could be wrong though. Not certain which one though. <laughs> Honestly, don't remember that. Oh, it's a Koopa Loop. Oh, well, whatever. I wasn't going to pick it up, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Why not? Free items are always nice. There's Chuck Quizmo. That's an interesting uh, quiz game type uh, side quest thing there. I could do that, but he kind of appears randomly. Oh, there it is kind of appears randomly all over the place. I think I've already done a couple, so I don't... <laughs> I feel kind of... I feel kind of bad if, uh... If I missed out on a couple of those and stuff like that. And that, you know, since I've already done a few of them, but... I don't know. Again, more star pieces, so... That's pretty much the main reward of the, uh... All the, uh, side quests in this game. Not that they're bad, like I said. You can use them to trade in for badges, and... I don't know if you, you're the kind of person that wants to collect everything, then... I guess that's what uh, you can go after. Oh, a lime. Let's see if I have a lime. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I do. Uh, otherwise, this might take a little bit longer than I expected. Um, I potentially should have a lime in storage here, though. So I don't think I gave one to Mustafa. Uh, let's see here. Oh, goody. What do you know? If you had asked for a lemon, that'd be a different thing, because I already used up my lemon. Uh, unfortunately, I gave it to, um... Uh, what's his name? The Anti-Guy. Well, I, get, I made it into a lemon candy and gave it to the Anti-Guy, but, um... Yeah, nonetheless, I don't have a lemon anymore. In case you're wondering how to get the lime, um... It's out in the oasis in Dry Dry Desert. I don't know if I really want to go out and show where it is, uh, even though I know this is a bit of a walkthrough, but it's... I mean, I guess, really, uh, I feel like I've already been over in one of my videos, maybe. I don't know, if you, if you need help, wherever you can ask me in the, in the comments or something, and I can uh, give you the directions how to get there. There's actually a guy who tells you how to get there, too, anyways. It involves a, uh, kooky cookie. Um, Koopa Leaf. Okay, I actually, hmm, I'm not certain about this one. <laughs> Uh, I have to think about it. Oh, I already got a Koopa Leaf. Alright, that's that's nice. I feel like it's probably a uh, cake mix. That would be my guess. In which case, I will take a brief break and go track that down. This is where the cake mix is, in case you weren't aware of that. I thought about just skipping the part. I'm like, actually, I probably shouldn't skip uh, another part of where to get... Um, where to get these items, but uh, basically you're just gonna whip uh, these. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I've already beaten the game. I hear I don't even get any star points for beating them. It's a little too simplistic, I guess. But um, this is like these shy guys running around here in the little. Uh, I think it's just called like the shy guy playground area or something like that. And they're carrying like different items and stuff. And one of them always is carrying a cake mix. There might actually be two. Um, I don't know. I so said there's one carrying a mushroom, a fire flower, a uh, um, maple syrup. But, uh, anyways, yeah, it's, it's over to the uh, 
be the left side, the left corner area of Shy Guys, the blue station in Shy Guys toy box. So, in case you don't have the cake mix, that's where to find that. And obviously, I already showed where to get the Cuba leaf. Um, so, hopefully, you uh, can find out where to get that now. I think you can actually also make it a couple other different ways too, um, namely by maple syrup, and I think there's something else. I think it's a stinky herb as well. Um, but I guess you know, cake mix and Koopa leaf are probably the easiest. If you don't have the uh, either of the other two items, but um, yep, go ahead. So this should make it. This is another like interesting item. It has some weird effects. It restores like some FP, I think, and uh, but. Yeah, it makes Mario either electric, sleepy, or transparent. I think it just kind of randomizes which one it chooses. And it restores, ooh, 15 FP. That's pretty nice. Um, it definitely, that's a lot of FP. I probably should have, uh, because, like, you know, I either get, uh, it's kind of a big jump between maple syrup and, uh, ult, uh, whatever it's called. Is it called Ultra? It's not called Ultra Jam. Jam and Jelly, that's what it's called. Uh, which restores 50 HP, or 50 FP, while maple, maple syrup restores 10. Now, I can't think of anything that's like in between, so, um, you know, obviously items like that are, uh, pretty nice to have, I guess, although it has a really bizarre, uh, side effects, like I said, either invisibility or electricity or electrification, which is kind of nice, or make to sleep, which is kind of bad, but, oh well, uh, I won't get to use it, obviously, because I'm giving it to Koopa Koo. um, get a package from him. Actually, I don't remember this one. Huh. Uh, I guess I kind of remember it vaguely. This one's in Gu Gusty Gulch, which, again, isn't too hard to get to. It's a little bit further away from uh, from um, the sewer area here than uh, we've been going, but it's probably might not even take as long as the... Uh, um, shoot, what's it called now? Ah, if I can even get out of there. There we go. Um, might not even take as long as the murder lovely autograph side mission area, but in case you don't know how to, well, I guess you should probably know how to get to Gusty Gulch by this point in the game. I can't think of why you wouldn't, I'm pretty sure you have to get past this level anyways in order to get that side quest, but hopefully it's not too far away. Um, I, obviously I'm just going to avoid these enemies. <laughs> obviously, uh, the shy guys didn't give me a um, star points, I'm guessing they probably won't either. I don't even remember which one it is, though. Is this it? Yeah, I guess, I guess, again, it's the, oh, maybe not. Yep, okay, so it's the second guy, actually. It's, this time it's not actually the first guy you, you talked to, it's, it's the second guy. It's, oh, no, maybe not. Wait, what? What did he even say? Okay, uh, well, um, what? <laughs> like how the other boo is scared of that one. <laughs> that didn't even make sense. Uh, or, well, maybe he wasn't scared. I, I don't know. That was weird. It looked like he was afraid. But, <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, okay, obviously it's none of these guys. Uh, is it this guy? Nope. This guy. Nope. This guy. No. <laughs> okay. This guy. Hmm. Oh, Firefly. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even realize the guy asked me something. I don't know. Um. Herbert. Oh. Okay. Shoot. Uh, I missed that potentially. I'm not sure which guy that was. Well, that is unfortunate. Uh, um, wait, is this guy gonna scare me again? Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, this is it. I thought it was this. What do you know? Here is the second guy, anyways. All right. I forgot he, uh... Ugh! 
Well, things didn't go my way there. At least it didn't do any damage. Not like it really, not like I really care that much, anyways. Um, but yeah, I guess you want to wait on that guy. You just leave, uh, leave that room, not room, part of the town. I guess I don't know. Somehow that passes time enough for him to uh, get the package he needs. So uh, that's that. Again, not too difficult of a little side mission thing. Took a little while, um, but not not too bad really. Uh, now I'm just gonna head back. There we go. And back up to the uh, the main level of the sewer. And give Kubaku this package, whatever it might be, kind of shady deal here, but whatever. As long as I get my coin out of it. And... Here's your package. Livid Lava Piranhas. Alright. Uh, yep, there we go. One coin. <laughs> uh, something called a coconut. <laughs> Hopefully I have one of those with me too. Um, otherwise they're not too difficult to find. Uh, they are on Yoshi's, uh, well, they're right outside Yoshi's village, I think. You just hit a palm, oh, actually, it's, um, the easiest way to, might, to do it might just be to take the whale, um, in the, uh, the dock area, and there should be a palm tree right outside that area. Oh, yep, I have a coconut here already. That's convenient enough. Um, and the palm tree, you just hit it with a hammer, and a coconut should fall out. And again, just like everything else that respawns uh, after you leave the area and come back. So, and again, if you have any questions as to like the exact locations of any of these things or whatever, if, I'm, if you feel like I'm not clear, feel free to like leave a comment or whatever, or message me or something or another. I don't know, but um, and I, I'll, I'll try to clarify it a little bit more uh, if you want. So, like I said, uh, I'm just kind of doing like the quick version of this since I already have all the items basically. Um, red jars. Uh, dusty hammer, dried pasta, dusty hammer. All right. I can do this. Go dry, dry outpost. I'm actually gonna store quite a few of my items since that way I make sure I have enough room for this uh, whole big transaction here. Check. Ultra Shroom. Life Shroom. Jam and Jelly. Uh, Pebble. Sure, why not? Just, that should be more than enough, really. So, Dusty Hammer. Dried Pasta. Dusty Hammer. And he does not tell you this, but the last one, I believe, is Dried Shroom. It's written on an ancient wall. Okay. There's the red jar. So that was just another, like, buying in this order type little thing. Just like, uh, in the actual dry dry desert level. The second level, I guess. Um, what did you have to do that for? Something about, oh, finding out about Mustafa or whatever, I think. Uh, or something or know, like that. It was, a uh, give him the red jar, and I believe that was the last one. Um... Special gift. Uh, probably three star pieces. Yep. And yeah, that is the last one. So that is nice. Now, it's like I said, I've done all the Koopa Koot side missions here. I have a few useless items in my uh, dried shrooms and dusty hammers, but that's not that big of a deal. <laughs> uh, I also have, what was it, nine or twelve more star pieces than I did before, as well as the uh, two uh, cards. You know what, actually? I'm going to, uh, before I wrap this video up, I'm also going to go ahead and uh, show off that uh, the little arcade area. Why not? This is a little bonus here at the end. That ties in pretty well, I think, with this video. It's obviously not really a side quest, I guess. It's Well, all side quests are completely optional, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> this is really just for fun, I suppose. You don't really get anything out of it. Well, I guess you can... Oh, yeah, I went the wrong way, too. 
Um, I guess you can get, like, extra coins out of it, but whatever. Um, and Alex, I don't even remember how to play them. So this should be interesting, nonetheless. Uh, if you don't have access to it already, you just hit this uh, tree here, and this pipe should pop up. And this is it. Like I said, I got both memberships now, so... Oh, I mean, I guess I have to go around this way. There we go. And... I have a gold credit. Alright. Lead down to both jump attack and smash attack fours. Okay. Like I said, I don't remember anything about these games. <laughs> it has been a long time since I've played them. Um, I don't even know which one this one is. Jump attack. When the game starts, 11 blocks will appear in the air. When you hit a block, a panel will come out of it. Kinds of panels, coins will be determined by the order to the panels in one coin, five coins, five times, and a game over panel. All right. Um, oh, interesting. So let's see here. Okay, thanks for telling me the rules, even though I just read them. Okay. Let's let's just go with the, the five block option, I guess. Ready to jump! Ooh, attack! <laughs> what a great catchphrase. Hey, I got the, the multiplier already. Awesome. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this makes me kind of nervous. I got one left. Oh. Alright. Got eight coins out of that. Ooh. I forgot order does matter. Dang it! <laughs> so, I didn't get 25 plus another three. I guess 28 or whatever. So... That is that. I think, do I just say... Yeah, I guess I just say don't play, and he'll let me exit. Let's check out this one. This, that was kind of a cool game, though. I, I was about to go read the directions, but I'm sure he'll be more than happy to inform me. Inform me, but... Uh, blocks will appear on the ground. Uh, you get... You'll clear the game if you get ten of these peach panels before time runs out. It'll slow you down a bit. Oh, this is definitely a lot cooler, I, I feel like. Um, I don't feel like I've ever played this one, but interestingly enough, nothing. <laughs> Has the the fuzzy music? That's cool. Okay, this is actually really easy because it shows you which uh, which um, which of these blocks have the, the peach things in them. Ah, oh, crud. Ugh. No, no! Uh, I can't. Actually, that was kind of a little bit harder than I anticipated. <laughs> um, I was like, oh, this is easy. They show you where the blocks are. That was pretty cool, though. Uh, I guess I just kind of wanted to show those off, I guess, since I have the cards now. From That's just really the main thing you get from that side, whole big side quest. That's probably the most rewarding one, really. Like I said, most of them just give you star pieces. Not that those are bad, again, but um, nothing like super interesting or anything, really. So that is going to be it for this part. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks again for watching.